across the country. We joined in studio by Tony Gometa, the stakeholder relations manager at Brand South Africa. Very good evening to you, Tony. Welcome. Thank you. Um, a very good evening to you, Sampira. First of all, uh, let's uh, do you want to take us through the program that Brand South Africa has up its sleeve in commemoration of Africa Day. Well, we have a very colorful, diverse, and absolutely electric program, I can tell you that for sure. Um, amongst many other programs that we have, in particular, this weekend, starting yesterday um, at the Media Launch and Tour, we partnered with the Baseline Festival, as well as Democracy Work, and many other partners of theirs, including the Department of Arts and Culture, um, to put together a program that would have various elements um, that included a very media-focused information session where we took um, media um, personalities around different sites that are relevant to the music history and the integration and intra-African collaboration within music yesterday so that was only the launch um, today we've just come from a full day of dialogues uh, about the role of music and the arts and the role that it has played in bringing together Africans um, and unifying us as Africans and uh, our last dialogue for the evening um, really related to the 25 years of democracy and how South Africa sees itself as using this platform where we are highlighted as a country going through a significant phase and milestone to further enable and advance the African agenda. You know, Tony, uh, South Africa is such a melting pot of uh, culture, of the arts, of music. So how do these contribute towards shaping up a certain narrative of uh, African nationalism? Well, that's a very um, interesting question because it's something that came up earlier on today in our dialogues as well, um, Simpiwe. You know, we're talking about the, the idea that uh, of the identity of Africa. And I think a lot of people struggle with it because um, they feel challenged by the multiplicity and how multifaceted we are. So one of the unique features of the South African identity is diversity. So it's important for us, and it was important through these dialogues, to highlight it as a unique strength instead of a challenge, which is, um, I think, something a lot of us also um, need to be able to see through and rise above in order to embrace the diversity that exists within the rest of the continent. And I'm not only talking about um, diversity in, demo in demographics, I'm talking about diversity in talent, diversity in what we have to give and what we have to trade in and what opportunities there are amongst Africans. Intra-trade, um, an as an example, is one. The exchange of culture and um, music, as well as heritage, is, is really something that becomes a melting pot, mm -hmm. like the Baseline Festival um, that will be tomorrow. It's quite interesting because as I was listening to former President Tabumbege earlier on, uh, he, he actually disputed this notion of identity politics, saying that it is actually uh, taking us 10 steps back rather than 10, ten steps forward. Mm -hmm. He used the, the, this example of, I mean, a widely used example of saying, I am 100% Zulu. I mean, such things, they, in as much as they do stir conversation and debate, but uh, it's, it really is a cause for concern, isn't it? I, I think what's more important from us, especially as Brand South Africa, because we are entrusted um, with the responsibility to not only elevate and position South Africa as a competitive destination, a, f a favorable, preferred destination for all things good, trade, investment, um, you know, and, and, and any other destination items, but more importantly for this program, it, it was to build pride. It is to build um, patriotism yes. and active citizenship. Now, all this kind of work that I'm referring to, we do for the sole attainment of social cohesion. And this is very relevant, not only within the South African context, but within the African context. Mm. Um, as Brain South Africa, we don't see it as, a, as an issue when people choose to identify in one way. Yes. However, there is no one way that you can identify a South African or an African for that matter. We simply have too many facets to our existence and we are allowed and it is actually a good thing for us to be able to embrace every aspect of them. That I am Zulu is but one thing that I am. That I am African is but one glorious thing that I um, absolutely represent. Yeah. And I, I think it, um, with a lot of research that we do at Brand South Africa, especially with domestic perceptions research and some of the research we do across the continent, one thing that does bring Africans together is the arts, is culture, is music that is just it is such an enabler and that's why programs like this and festivals like this are not only about 
having a good time. That's very important and mm. we certainly will have a good time. However, it's about the cultural exchange because therein lies our ability to find each other as humans and as humanity. I quite like your point where you talk of, uh, you know, a, a multifaceted existence as a people, as a nation. I mean, South Africa is seen as the pinnacle of pan-Africanism, but uh, the reported incidents of xenophobia, political killings, uh, misogyny, femicide, actually, they, they do actually put a dent on South Africa's image internationally, and uh, it is quite problematic for brand South Africa, which always advocates for a South African brand identity that will advance the country's long-term reputation. How do you deal with such? Well, one thing for sure, it's very important to um, absolutely advocate against anything that will first be against humanity because the South African identity is also embedded in who we are within the context of our foundation, which is the South African constitution. Mm. And that is a very inclusive constitution. Um, it is enabling and embracing of difference. And that's, very, um, that's one key thing. So it's absolutely important. There is, we must by all means, be able to stand up together as South Africans and, and Africans and say, this is not who we are. These social ills that are cropping up are not our actual story. Yes. And we, that does need to be dealt with within that space where w whether it's related to law enforcement needing to play its role and other entities. However, as Brand South Africa, our role always is to elevate the stories, the lived existence, the lived everyday stories of non-South uh, non Africans who are living in this country. Um, as part of our program, if I may refer um, you, we have partnered um, within the context of this program of showing the success stories and intra-African collaboration um, amongst many, uh, which includes artists that come to South Africa that have a good story to tell of being supported, of being welcomed by communities whose careers have been uh, put on a springing board and who, who are embraced far and wide. And, and one of them, as an example, is Gemini Major, and he shared his story within the context of the launch yesterday yeah. to people, his South African story. And when we are able to have those stories shared, we become we get to own our narrative of who we really are, which is an embracing people, which is an open people, which is a friendly people that is embracing of diversity. And we must, alongside that, absolutely okay. deal with that which takes away from that. Okay. Now, just before I let you go, uh, the, the so-called non-economic drivers or the push factors have been blamed, uh, I mean, such as gross human rights abuses, bad governance, poverty, ethnic polarization, have actually pushed uh, many South Africans to different parts of the world to seek a better living. Now, these migrants have always been blamed by social commentators and political actors for having turned their back on Africa, yet it does take a great deal of skill and human resource and people to build the Africa that they want to see. But would you blame them though? You know what I would certainly highlight? There are many aspects of this country that have been contributed to by people from far and wide. Mm. And it is very important not to get lost in the clutter and start not to appreciate the contributions that have been made by people who are not necessarily South African. Remember, our South African constitution says South Africa belongs to Everyone all who live in it. it. Yeah. And that, I think, is something that is so important for us. As Brenda say, we, we, we totally carry on advocating for that. Because even as South Africans, those who have chosen to be away from this country and um, go to other parts of the world, in fact, that tells a good story. That tells a story that says South Africa, this beautiful country of ours, produces the caliber of people who are able to go far and wide and be productive yes. and be admired and be good brand ambassadors for South Africa. And that is the actual story because when we go as Brand South Africa, we go far and wild, wide in marketing this country. And we, 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 we seek out networks of South Africans living in different markets. Right. And when we connect with those South Africans, what we often find is they are a positive voice True. to direct a lot of positivity, including potential opportunity, trade, tourism, back in this country. So uh, I think there's a lot to take away more than there is that takes away from the identity of right. South Africa and from the identity of the African. Tony, you've had such a long day today and I would imagine quite a, a much more hectic day tomorrow, but I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining us and a happy Africa Day. Thank you so much.